Imagine a comet from beyond our solar system, an interstellar traveler named 3I Atlas, racing past the inner planets at 137,000 miles per hour. Just as it was near its closest point to Mars, a massive coronal mass ejection slammed directly into it, reshaping its tail and sparking a surge in brightness. But here's where it gets stranger. In the same 72-hour window, two novas erupted in the southern skies, and Venezuela was rattled by twin magnitude 6 earthquakes. Astronomers have dubbed this cosmic convergence the 72-hour complex. What are the odds? Less than one-tenth of one percent. Is 3I Atlas just a silent witness to this chain of events? Or could its passage through our solar system be more deeply entwined with Earth and the Sun than we realize? In today's TechMap episode, we unravel the mystery of 3I Atlas and its role at the heart of one of the most extraordinary cosmic clusters ever recorded. Around September 22nd to 23rd, 2025, Astronomer John Seach in Australia identified not one, but two nova explosions. For those unfamiliar, a nova is a sudden, dramatic, stellar event, where a star surges in brightness, sometimes by thousands to as much as 100,000 times its usual intensity, appearing in the sky as a new star. The name itself comes from the Latin word for new, as these bursts once seemed like fresh stars to early observers. While novae occur fairly often within our galaxy, those bright enough to be seen with the naked eye are far rarer, appearing perhaps once every few years, or even a decade. Yet this time, something extraordinary happened. Two naked eye novae ignited, separated by barely a day and a half. V1935 Centauri, though the second nova event overall was the first to be discovered. It flared suddenly in the constellation Centaurus and was swiftly reported to astronomical organizations. Positioned about 1.5 degrees north of Alpha Centauri, the brightest star system in the southern sky, it may appear close by, but in reality, V1935 Centauri is not physically associated with Alpha Centauri and its exact distance is still being determined. The explosion unleashed a surge of gamma rays, along with a strong output of hard X-rays, both detected by professional observatories, such as Fermi and Swift, which specialize in high-energy measurements. Initially recorded at a magnitude of 10.2, the nova brightened to 8.2, and more recently, to around 5.8, making it just visible to the naked eye under dark skies, particularly in the southern hemisphere. Its rapid rise in brightness over just a few days transformed it into a striking new presence in the night sky, capturing the attention of astronomers worldwide. Shortly after that, amateur astronomer Dr. John Seach made another remarkable discovery, V799-4 Sagittarii. This nova emerged in the constellation Sagittarius, the Archer, a region rich with the glowing band of the Milky Way and situated near the supermassive black hole at our galaxy's core, roughly 26,000 light years away. Confirmed independently by multiple observers and automated surveys, it now carries the official designation VI-7994 Cirrus Gear. At discovery, its brightness measured around magnitude 6.2, just below naked eye visibility but easily seen with binoculars or small telescopes, making it an exciting target for both amateur and professional astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere. Unlike V1935 Centauri, which surged from magnitude 10.2 to a brilliant 5.8, VHE-7994 Sagittarii has lingered near the edge of visibility. Still, speculation remains that it could brighten further in the coming days, potentially following the trend set by its cosmic counterpart. Similar to V1935 Centauri, V7994 Sagittarii is a classical nova unfolding within a binary system that includes a white dwarf star. Over time, Hydrogen from its companion accumulates on the white dwarf surface, 
until a thermonuclear chain reaction erupts into a runaway explosion, hurling material outward and triggering a dramatic surge in brightness. This violent outburst produces not only visible light but also streams of gamma and X-ray radiation. The detection of gamma rays points to powerful shocks and particle acceleration occurring after the explosion, offering scientists deeper insights into the physics of novae and the role they play in enriching the cosmos with new elements. Like its twin event in Centaurus, V7994 Sagittarii was best viewed from the southern hemisphere. Together, the two formed a rare celestial pairing nearly simultaneous novae igniting across southern constellations, leaving the skies alight with mystery. What makes this sequence truly remarkable is its timing. The explosion of V7994 Sagittarii alongside V1935 Centauri was recorded just before two powerful magnitude 6 plus earthquakes struck Venezuela and almost simultaneously with a coronal mass ejection, impacting the interstellar object 3 RI Atlas. Normally, this region of Venezuela experiences an earthquake of magnitude 6 only once every two to three years. Yet, within a span of less than six hours, two major quakes and a strong aftershock shook the same area. These seismic events unfolded amid a phase of unusual solar and space weather activity, most notably, a coronal mass ejection, CME, striking the interstellar object 3I Atlas, along with heightened solar wind fluctuations. Around September 24th to 25th, 2025, a powerful CME erupted from the sun, and NASA models projected it would collide with 3I Atlas as the interstellar traveler passed through the inner solar system. Such a direct interaction between a CME and an interstellar object is exceedingly rare, making the event even more extraordinary. 3I Atlas, racing through space at nearly 137,000 miles per hour, was approaching its perihelion when it endured a direct strike from a coronal mass ejection. The solar eruption traveled directly along its orbital path, with models predicting the CME's arrival within an eight-hour window centered around noon UTC. Following the impact, astronomers observed notable changes in the interstellar object's tail and brightness. Even before the CME encounter, 3I Atlas had already brightened dramatically, about 20 times its original luminosity, rising from an apparent magnitude near 16 to around 12. Rather than fading back to prior levels, its brightness remained elevated, a sign of heightened activity within the comet's coma the cloud of gas and dust enveloping its core. The CME appears to have influenced the comet's plasma, or ion tail, made up of ionized gases, driven away from the sun by the solar wind. Interestingly, observations revealed a puzzling disparity. Professional telescope arrays recorded the usual anti-sunward tail pointing away from the sun, while amateur astronomers reported signs of a sunward push an unusual effect hinting at complex interactions. The CME's impact likely altered the plasma environment surrounding the comet, reshaping the behavior and structure of its tail. Meanwhile, the dusty coma and surrounding gas cloud stretched to an immense size. Ongoing ionization and plasma activity from the solar wind and CME fueled these variations with charged particles and electrons playing a key role in shaping both the brightness and dynamics of the comet's tail. Scientists anticipated potential disruptions or shifts in the plasma environment and tail structure of the comet as the solar storm swept through it. With a massive weight of roughly 33 billion tons, 3I Atlas's path through space was not altered by the CME but its brightness and tail behavior were clearly subject to the storm's influence. This rare encounter was monitored closely, offering researchers an opportunity to investigate how solar wind and plasma interact with an interstellar comet, an object that originated beyond our solar system. The CME strike occurred during a period of intense solar activity, amplifying its significance. The sun in the midst of solar cycle 25 and edging toward its solar maximum was 
waking up with surging solar flux, numerous sunspots, and increasingly dynamic solar events, creating the perfect backdrop for such a unique observation. The coronal mass ejection that struck 3 R Atlas was part of the sun's heightened activity, a powerful surge of plasma and magnetic field aimed directly at the comet, an exceptionally rare occurrence for an interstellar traveler. 3I Atlas follows an unusual orbit close to the ecliptic plane, threading near the paths of Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. This trajectory places it in direct alignment with solar energetic emissions and magnetic circuits, a rare spatial configuration that may amplify its interactions with solar activity. The comet itself displays anomalous traits, a dust coma with surprisingly little gas emission and a tail pointing sunward, in stark contrast to the anti-sunward tails typically seen on comets. Such features resonate with electric comet theories, which propose that powerful electrical and plasma interactions shape a comet's behavior within the solar wind environment. The CME impacts occurred just as 3I Atlas neared perihelion and skimmed past Mars, amplifying the scientific intrigue and offering an extraordinary observational opportunity during this turbulent period of space weather. At the same time, the unusual solar activity, including the CME and fluctuating solar winds, was tied to intensifying solar maximum conditions affecting Earth. Variations in solar wind density and energy input from solar events are thought to have a potential influence over geophysical processes, possibly even triggering fault ruptures and seismic events. One recent observation showed a drop in solar wind density, which some researchers hypothesize may alter Earth's electromagnetic environment. Such changes could add stress to tectonic fault lines, particularly in quake-prone regions like northwest Venezuela. This period also featured heightened solar flux, numerous sunspots, and dynamic solar activity, signatures of an approaching solar maximum known for amplifying solar emissions and geomagnetic disturbances. While a direct causal link between solar activity and earthquakes remains speculative, the striking temporal overlap has captured both scientific curiosity and public attention. It's safe to say that this extraordinary chain of rare, high-energy cosmic and seismic events unfolding within just three days immediately captured the attention of astronomers. They have dubbed it the 72-hour complex, or 72-hour event stack. The likelihood of all these events aligning, the appearance of two naked-eye novae, two powerful magnitude 6-plus earthquakes in Venezuela, and a major solar coronal mass ejection striking the interstellar comet 3, I Atlas, within the same 72-hour span, is estimated at less than 0.1%. Such an overlap is exceedingly rare, marking this period as a statistical anomaly in the chronicles of cosmic and terrestrial phenomena. Statistically, it exemplifies Poisson clustering, where a cluster of independent random events happens to occur in close proximity in time or space, creating an outlier that appears almost orchestrated despite arising from pure chance. Poisson clustering recognizes that while rare, independent events can occasionally appear bunched together, the probability of such dense clustering is extraordinarily low. What makes the 72-hour complex remarkable is not only the rarity of each event, but their stacking into an unusually intense time frame. This elevates it to a statistical outlier of the highest degree, demanding focused scientific attention and study. The cluster provides a rare chance to explore potential links between solar activity, cometary behavior, and Earth's geophysical responses. At the same time, it challenges scientists to weigh possible correlations and causal mechanisms, while remaining careful to separate coincidence from causation. Ultimately, the 72-hour complex underscores the deeply interconnected dynamics of space weather, cosmic phenomena, and Earth's geology. Its rarity has sparked strong interdisciplinary interest spanning astrophysics, space weather research, seismology, 
and statistical physics.